coupling. Here we go. Next thing. What do you have to know about coupling? Characteristics. Three different circuits we can use to couple our signal from point A to point B. So coupling in itself is described as transfer of energy from one amplifier stage to another. Yeah, transfer of energy or signal, same thing, from, oh, I spelled it right, from, or better yet, between, I could say circuit stages. So we know what a stage in a circuit is by now, I hope. Cascaded just means what? Yeah, it's just more than one stage. Amplifier stage, that is, we could say. Yeah, I'll say parallel because that makes that makes more sense because series is what, Brown? Series configuration transistors. Is this series? No, series is it's like, yeah, stacked on top of each other. Good. All right. There was several gain formulas I gave to you to use to calculate these parameters. There's so many different formulas and variants of work there. Good. But the root formula for gain is always going to be what? It's always going to be this. Output divided by input. Okay, cool. Meaning that, hey, I take for each stage, let's say, if I take the output, what would the output be for this one? Collector. So if I want to know voltage gain of stage one, collector voltage divided by base voltage, basically, hey, I can find the gain for that first stage. But if I want to know the output using this formula for the whole circuit, I have to go to the output and divide it by the input for the whole thing. Make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. And we already practiced calculating gain earlier. So everyone should be down with how to use this formula, yes. That's no big. All right. Well, that's one. And when it comes to coupling, uh, basically the art of taking two more stages and transferring energy between them or from the input to the output, that's the art of coupling. There's different types we talked about. This first one's RC coupling because there's a capacitor coupling or in between the two stages, isn't there? Okay. And we also use this, or I use this formula as an example, circuit as an example to demonstrate the different variants of the gain formula. So we're going to do that one more time so everybody's clear. So we know this one. Well, how do we, besides output over input, what's another way to calculate gain for a circuit? What else can we do besides the Yeah, we can multiply the stages together. So if I identify this as stage one, and this one's stage two, meaning that, hey, voltage divider bias going off of base voltage out of collector and emitter resistor, and then this stage is basically the same, and in between the two stages, I have a capacitor coupling the signal across. So I can identify this as stage one, stage two. Now, if I give you the gain for each stage, let's just say I know what they are, and I just heard to find gain between the stages or for the whole circuit, we multiply them together, which is correct. So if I want to know voltage gain, a couple of different ways you can see it. That's one way, right? A sub B, T, or total voltage gain. Sometimes it might be like capital A, capital B, it just still means total voltage gain. So 
same thing. So I'm not going to write a whole bunch of formulas up before like, like I did during the lesson. You should have them down. They're in your hand now. So I'll use this as an example. Is that feasible? Yeah, voltage gain is stage one times voltage gain is stage two to figure out the total voltage gain. So if I give you the gain for stage one, and let's just say, hey, it's five. Or I'll do like this. Voltage gain equals five for that circuit. And stage two, voltage gain equals two. What is the gain for the whole circuit? Ten. Ten. That's pretty simple. Five times two is ten. Wow. That's amazing. Ten what? Ten pineapple horseshoes? Just ten. There's no unit of measure. It's ten. It's the gain. It's ten. Okay. So now we can take it a little bit further. And let's say I do have a known input. Uh, let's say it's two volts peak to peak, for example. Now I expect gain for stage one to be five. Okay. So how can I like determine the output? Yeah, I can take the gain and multiply by the input. Can I go five times two is ten? Ten volts peak to peak. Yeah, we can do that. So ten volts peak to peak is my expected. Voltage gain. We're just looking at voltage gain. This output is the what? Input to the next stage. So if I were to draw my signal here, 2 volts peak to peak, in comparison, this output would be what? Yeah, and it's common what? Common emitter. There's going to be a phase shift, isn't there? Isn't there? Yes, sir. Yes, there is. Yes! I gotta start yelling and screaming? Probably. That's the input to stage two. So if that's the case, could I like multiply that by this? And I expect my overall output to be 20 volts peak to peak. Could I do that? Okay, so now this is gonna go through another what? <coughs> Phase shift because it's common emitter. So now, bigger, 20 volts peak to peak. And yes, in phase. The output's in phase of the input. Got amplified. So now, could I check to see if that's right by applying output over input? 20 volts, that's the output, divided by the input, which is 2, and it's still 10. Does this make sense? This is very simple. And we don't have to get all crazy with that. That's as simple as it can be, just like that. So that's the gain stuff. There was one other formula. Remember this one? Approximation of gain. We can use, yeah, we can use the resistor values to approximate gain. You guys did this in the labs. Remember, so that for stage one, hey, I can approximate the gain by taking the collector resistor and divided by the emitter <coughs> resistor, approximate the gain. Same thing here, approximate the gain, multiply them together, and the result might be like 11 or something. That's why it's called approximation. So a uh, formula might be approximation of gain would be like something like that the collector resistor divided by the emitter resistor, or if I actually had a load attached, like let's say here, then it would be the load, but now you have to take the parallel equivalent because the load, collector resistor, parallel to the load itself, and that's what you have to do. So you may see it this way as well. Load divided by emitter resistor. So this gain stuff, good so far? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So the root formula is just output over input. You can always find the gain using this. But if you're given the actual stages, you just multiply them together. 